So on behalf of the uh, City of Brockton and uh, Brockton Veteran Services, uh, I'd like to welcome you all here today for our Memorial Day ceremony and uh, the parade which you just witnessed. I appreciate all, all of the elements who participate in the parade and uh, would like to remind everyone that uh, these ceremonial uh, rituals which we practice at least twice a year at special times to uh, proclaim our patriotism would not be possible without uh, the political leadership that we elect to office. And uh, I would just like to take a moment to uh, thank everyone who has uh, come today as an elected official representing all of the people in Brockton as well as some elements outside the city. Um, obviously, Mayor Bill Carpenter, uh, the Honorable Mayor, who you he you'll be hearing from shortly. Um, our whole state delegation is here today. Uh, I'd like to thank you. Our entire state delegation is here today. State Senator Mike Brady, State Representative thank you, Claire Cronin, State Representative Michelle Dubois, State Representative Jerry Cassidy. Did I already say that? As well as uh, our um, City Councilors, Councilors at Large, Moses Rodriguez, Jean Bradley Derencourt, Councilors, I'm sorry, City Councilor at Large, Wynn Farwell, and Ward City Councilors, Timothy Cruz, and Beauregard, Dennis Ianieri, and uh, Susan Knight Castro. I'm sure I'm leaving someone else. Uh, Shirley Azak, I'm, wouldn't, this event would not be possible literally without her uh, assistance. Uh, we also have re a Registrar of Deeds, John Buckley. Again, Councillor Jack Lally from Ward. Six and uh, Southeastern Regional School Committee member Mark Lindy. Thank you so much for uh, your patience. So Memorial Day began um, shortly after the Civil War. Uh, it was called Decoration Day. I'm reminded of the protocol of this event and. Uh, um, I'll begin the ceremony with the presentation of colors, which they apparently have already been presented. The national anthem will be performed by the Brockton High School Band.
you. At this time, I would like to introduce uh, George Cataldo, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce Miss Teen, Massachusetts, America, Kennedy Campbell, who will lead us in God Bless America. time I would like to introduce Reverend William McCoy for an invocation. Thanks David. Just a, a word. Uh, my father served in the US Navy back during World War II. He was on a sub chaser in the North Atlantic and the Mediterranean Sea, in the areas of North Africa and the coast of Italy. Sometimes I wonder what he would say about things going on in the world today. And I'm sure he would uh, very much approve of what we're doing here and many other things would delight him. And I'm sure there would be many things that would disgust him too. Certainly the divisiveness and the hostility and the political discourse. But I know that he is present here along with so very many others. And I know too that he would approve of the lines from a, a hymn we sang in church last Sunday. And I promise you I'm not going to sing it. But uh, the line has to do with heroes. Oh, beautiful, for heroes proved in liberating strife, who more than selves their country loved, and mercy more than life. America, America, God shed his grace on thee. Indeed, may God shed his grace on this gathering and on all of us and on the United States of America. I would ask now that you bow your heads in prayer and pray with me. On this day of remembrance, O oh God, we remember those who have gone before us. We give thanks for their sacrifice, their courage in the grip of fear, their hope in the face of overwhelming odds, and their witness to something far greater than themselves. We remember, Lord, no greater love than what has been laid down for others, your love for us, and our love for one another. We remember the men and women of our armed forces, asking that you would defend them with your heavenly grace that you would strengthen them in their trials and temptations, that you would grant them courage in the perils they find themselves up against time and again, and Lord, a sense of your abiding presence wherever they may be. 
We pray for these women and men and, and their families, those who bear the wounds of violence and war, physical, emotional, and spiritual wounds, that they may know your healing, that they may know your peace. On this day of remembrance, Lord, we ask for your guidance in the ways that make for peace, for the final turning of swords into plowshares, for confirming our nation's soul in self-control, for granting us liberty in your holy law. We remember, we give thanks, and we pray in your holy name. Amen. Thank you, Reverend McCoy. <laughs> Please be seated. At this time, I would like to introduce the Honorable Mayor of the City of Brockton, William Carpenter, Bill Carpenter. Well, good, uh, good morning and welcome to City Hall Plaza on this uh, special occasion. I have to say, Kennedy, that was one of the best renditions of God Bless America I've ever heard. It was really incredible. <laughs> That's the second time she's amazed me today. The first one is she walked the entire parade route in high heels <laughs> right next to me. Um, this is one of the very special days that we celebrate or remember during the course of a year here at City Hall. And It's unbelievable the turnout that we have here this morning, and I appreciate each and every one of you being here. As I've, uh, I've spent some time over at the VA medical campus over the last few months, and it's really given me pause to think about the sacrifices that have been made by those who defended our freedom and our liberty on the battlefield. And today we remember those who are fallen and the ultimate sacrifice that they made. But as I spend time with many of the other vets, many of the disabled vets, I recall, I can see the lifelong sacrifice that they've made also, and that more than anyone, they remember their comrades that did not make it back home. So it's critically important that today we take the time amidst all the holiday weekend to just pause and reflect upon the price that was paid, not just by those who, fa who have fallen, but by their families and their loved ones. It's a sacrifice that's made for a long time by an entire family. You spend a little time with a gold star mother or a gold star family, you'll realize the, the price that was paid. So in that respect, it's my privilege to read a proclamation from Governor Baker. Whereas while the nation was still recovering from the horrors of the Civil War, people in cities and towns across the country gathered to honor those unions and Confederate soldiers who had given their lives, celebrating the first Decoration Day. And whereas after World War I, the nation came together again to honor those who had fallen in the service of their country. Renamed Memorial Day, the last Monday in May, is when people remember and honor the memory of all the men and women who fought and died in all American wars and conflicts. And whereas throughout our country's history, thousands of Massachusetts citizens have fought in wars and conflicts to defend our safety and way of life. And whereas their legacy of patriotism and dedication to country is an inspiration to all Americans. And whereas it is appropriate that all Massachusetts citizens remember the bravery of those who gave their lives so that their sacrifices serve as a reminder of the cost of our freedom. So on behalf of Governor Baker, I do hereby proclaim May 27th, 2019 to be Memorial Day and the governor urges all citizens of the Commonwealth to take cognizance of this event and participate fittingly in its observance. And I'll present this proclamation to our veteran service officer, Dave Fowl. Thank you, Mayor. 
as you can see, most of our ceremony involves the, the high school. It's just such a tremendous uh, reflection of our community. Uh, I would be remiss if I uh, didn't mention that uh, uh, one of the school committee members was also here today, uh, Judy Sullivan. Um, they do, they do just such, such a wonderful job with uh, less and less money each year. So at this time, um, I would ask the VFW to uh, perform a silent uh, tribute as we lay the wreath at the foot of the flag. The mayor will accompany me. Fire squad, port arms. About face. Ready? A. Fire. 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 Port arms. About face. The Brockton firefighters pipe and drums will perform Amazing Grace.
Thank you. That concludes today's ceremony.